Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that you're able to join us today. Last week, I was so blessed to hear from many of you how the message blessed you and I heard awesome reports. And I'm, and I'm sure the Lord is going to do amazing things even today. So stay tuned with me for the next five minutes as I tell you what the Lord has put in my heart for you today. Um, I want to take you to a portion from the Bible in Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 5. Before I read this to you, last night as I was praying, uh, the Lord gave me these three words, until they are found. I was wondering, Lord, what does this actually mean? And the Holy Spirit guided me and led me to Luke chapter 15. Let me read for you from the Bible. Then all the tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. Let me stop there. Did you notice that word uh, where the Lord said he will leave the 99 and will go after the one which is lost until he finds it? Amazing, isn't it? Listen, beloved child of God. As I was reading the scripture and the Holy Spirit was impressing this in my heart, until they are found, I was just thinking about this. Listen, you are very, very, very valuable. The Lord Jesus was stating this in the parable that the shepherd would leave the 99 who are safe, 99 sheep which are safe and he would go after one sheep which has lost its path. Today I don't know what you're going through. You might have messed yourself up with sin, with addictions or with some distraction which came and pulled you away in your life's journey and took you into a deep dark pit of sin and you're feeling right now I'm so much away from the Lord and I don't know how to find my way back listen my beloved the Lord said and the Lord is saying even today to you that he will leave the 99 and he will come after you until he will find you until he will find you and the Bible says the the shepherd went in search of that sheep listen this is not a modern day example where a person can call somebody through cell phone and say hey here am I locate me or there is a GPS to say I'm here come and find me no my beloved it was the shepherd going in search of a sheep somewhere in the forest in midst of maybe thorns bushes he had to go as a man the sheep would have gone anywhere but as a man he had to go in searching uh, the sheep in every nook and corner of that forest and even he had to bend down kneel down uh, maybe he had to just go through all that strenuous path and the moment he finds the sheep the bible doesn't say he he begins to scold or he begins to beat up the sheep and say how dumb you are you lost your way and you made me fall into all this trouble no the bible says the shepherd was so happy when he found the sheep he took the sheep and he put it on he put it we put the sheep on his shoulders and he began to rejoice listen my beloved no matter where you got lost today the Lord Jesus wants to find you and that is what he was telling me last night until they are found my beloved until you are found the Lord will come looking for you he will locate you you don't know the you don't know the way back home but he does and his presence comes after you the Holy Spirit begins to convict you there wherever you are lost and the Lord Jesus will come after you and he will hold you by your hand and he will take you put you on his shoulders you know what the most marvelous uh, thing here the sheep didn't have to walk back hallelujah the shepherd walked back with the sheep on his shoulders and he led the path back into the sheep pen where the sheep belonged today I don't know where you are in your life's journey but the Lord can locate you and he wants to locate you 
and he wants to find you. Until he finds you, he's not going to give up on you. And his presence is right now locating you wherever you're seated. He'll come, envelop you with his presence, with his love. He will reach you and he will take you in his arms and put you on his shoulders and he will walk you back home. Hallelujah. That's how valuable you are. I don't know how much the shepherd had to pay the price going through those thorns and bushes, scratching his body. It didn't matter. That's what Jesus did. It doesn't matter for the Lord how much you went through. But all that he went through was to find you in his presence. Don't you want to be found back? I know once upon a time you were on fire for God. You were loving Jesus. But all of a sudden, the sin and the distractions of this world came and took you away. My beloved, that's what the devil's purpose is. And that is what he wants to achieve. But today, if you will say yes, the master is right now knocking at the doors of your heart saying, My child, come back home. I want to take you back to the place where you belong. Hallelujah. Let me just pray with you right now. That, that the Holy Spirit will come and touch you there. And His presence, I'm beginning to feel His presence right now. I'm feeling your hearts are right now being touched by the love of God. Even as you think about this good shepherd who laid down his life for you on the cross to find you, to reconcile you to the Father through His blood. Let me just pray with you. Precious Holy Spirit, I pray right now for this beloved child of God who's watching this video. I don't know where they have lost their way, where they got distracted. Right now, Holy Spirit, let them feel the hand of God and the everlasting arms of the Father covering them with the love of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right now, I sense the presence of God just coming and enveloping you. The, the, it's like a blanket of love coming and covering you, my child. And the Lord is just comforting you and saying, it is okay, come back to me. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, you're, you're setting them free from every addiction. You're setting them free from every distraction, from every trap that the enemy laid against their life. And right now we take authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we command every trap, every deception to break from their lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcoming many home. You're welcoming many lost sheep home today. Thank you, Father, for what is happening right now over this video. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, come back to the place where you belong. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so glad that you're able to join us for this short video. And I'm sure that you're blessed. And I, I, I do believe that you would like to, you know, um, watch more of such videos. Uh, why don't you just subscribe to our YouTube channel, Prophetic Voice Today. And also you can uh, subscribe to our website, www.propheticvoice.in, so that we will keep you posted on our upcoming conferences and other ministry updates on a weekly basis. God bless you. I'm sure you were blessed. Stay blessed until we see you next week. Same time. God bless you.